Todd has a numerology here, or at least somebody is uh, feeding Todd some numerology. Then we'll get to Reggie Miller. What's your numerology? So six seventeen oh eight was the last time the uh, Celtics won uh, their championship. Yeah. Tonight is six seventeen twenty four. The Boston Celtics Boston area code is six one seven. Something special about June seventeenth in the air. Looks like the Celtics will wrap things up tonight. Okay, you guaranteeing it? I'm going to do the Charles Barkley. I guarantee <laughs> the Celtics are going to wrap it up today. Let's bring in Reggie Aloysius Miller Jr. the third Turner Sports Hall of Famer. Celtics wrap it up tonight. First of all. Please tell Todd, don't do that again. Please. No. That was so bad. <laughs> hey, look, I, I know um, everyone's been killing the Celtics over the last two, three days because of their game four performance. But Theodore, you've been around this business a long time, and you, you understand this. Look, will anyone care if the Celtics wrap it up tonight and win in this gentleman's suite? In the history, when they go back and look at this 4-1 series, if it is 4-1, if they do wrap up tonight, are they going to talk about the shellacking they took in game four? No. All they'll talk about is their 18th NBA championship. So I understand everyone on you know the networks, oh, my God, what's wrong with the Celtics? Bad game, horrible game. Yes, they thought that the, the Mavericks were going to cave in and it was going to be a cakewalk. They took them for granted. And the basketball guard, basketball gods showed that, right? That's what the 38-point shellacking was. The question tonight will be, can Dallas make shots and play with that same type of intensity defensively on the road in another closeout situation? That's what, we, that's what it comes down to. But who cares? It's one game. And if these playoffs are any indication of what's going on, when a team gets beat by this many points and this bad, the next night, the team that suffered that, or the next game, the team that suffered that loss usually comes back and hands out a shellacking themselves. So to answer your question, yeah, I, I do think it's over tonight because I just don't think Dallas can sustain that shot making and more importantly, defensively, because they're targeting Luca and Luca was better. He was better defensively in game four. Can he do it again here in game five? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, Dan. But if, did they figure something out though, Reg, that you can take from that game to use tonight? That's the only thing that, yes, they looked really impressive. They blew them out. Boston gave up probably at halftime. But is there something there that you think if Dallas figured something out that that can help them win tonight? Well, a couple things. Their pace was better. They played faster, which you and I talked about last week. And, and again, guys made shots. Dante Exum was good off the bench. Tim Hardaway Jr., there was a sighting. Finally, he started to make shots. That could help. Um, the, the thing that the win did for Dallas, it gave them a sense of hope, a little bit of life. Now the heartbeat is beating a little bit. Now I will say this. If they can find a way and win tonight on the road in Boston, this series completely changes because now you go back to Dallas and you would assume they would win that, and that sets up a, a huge Game 7, and we know how Dallas they are on the road in Game 7s. Yeah. But again, that's, that's a lot of ifs, but that was, makes tonight's game so interesting. If, if Dallas can find a way, and they have been good on the road in these playoffs, but they've got to be able to sustain their shot making, which they've only done in game four. And defensively, can they play that way? 